Look how beautiful the weather is out today here in Michigan. Wow. Oh man, that's nice. Right now we're gonna go find Jeffrey, my nephew. He's autistic, he, can, he can't speak, but he communicates really well on his iPad. But like right now he went to go return bottles at the store, but he did it without telling my mom. So my mom's worried about him, but we're gonna go see. So right now you can go with me. We're gonna go hunt for Jeffrey. And uh, I need the exercise, so I'm walking. Mom's driving. Man, they say walking's really good exercise, like incredible. Like we should all be walking every day, but you know, if you don't feel like it, don't do it. But I mean, me, I just, for me, I gotta start walking. Around. Tony, what's up? Hey, let me come, sh let me come shout at you. Let me come say hi, man. We never, we never even get to talk. Thanks, man. I'm moving to the Philippines. Are you really? Yeah, I'm doing a little video here. Just, what? you know, if I won't put you in it if you don't want what? me to. What? It's going on my Facebook. Can I put you in it real yeah, quick? I don't care. Hey, this is Tony. Say hey, hi. How, how you doing? Introduce yourself. Uh, my name is uh, Tony Maniachi. I'm Italian and I live uh, across the street from Pete. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, and they call me Pete because that's my mom calls me Pete. But I go by David Yacht Christian on YouTube. But hey, man, good to see you. Same here, man. Good to see good you. To so, see. what's new? Nothing, man. Same old, same old. What about this Here's weather? What about what? I'll see. Well, I didn't check the basement. Why would he be down there? Anyways, we're looking for Jeffrey. Well, you can't find him? Well, he is probably returning bottles. But, like, he did it behind my mom's back. Oh, no. She said, don't leave the house. And then he left. He's 18, so he's a little rebellious. No, he's 19 now. Really? Yeah. Hey, man, it's good having Italian neighbors. <laughs> yeah, no shit. They say we're prejudiced, but you know what? We got a right to be. Exactly. No, I'm just kidding. No, but, you're But, you know, right. Italians are badass. Oh, yeah. Look, the mafia... They run game like nobody. I mean, they run you know, this country. They, they run the country. See, I didn't even know that. I mean, I know a lot, but like I didn't realize they're in the government and everything. Yeah. Wow. Why are you going to the Philippines? My wife's there. Oh, really? Is well, she she's my fiance, but my spiritual wife. Like yeah. we feel like we're married already. Is she a Filipino? She's a Filipino man. She's incredible. How her name's you Faith. Her? Met her through a Facebook group called Born Again Christians Seeking a Marriage. Oh, yeah. So we were both born again Christians. And when I met her, there were so many signs from Yah that, that she's my soulmate because her name's Faith. That's the same name as my favorite daughter. I got eight kids and my favorite one, you know, you're not supposed to have favorites, but right. you do. Right. You'll be like, I mean, she's my little girl, you know, right. she's my pet, precious little Faith. So, uh, and she, her name's Faith. And that was one sign. And then there were so many other signs. And then we started talking, man, we've been talking. Sometimes we talk for 10 hours on the Facebook Messenger oh. video call. How old are you, Pete? I'm 52. How old is she? 52. Really? Yeah. Oh, you don't look 52. Oh, well, thank you. I'm 70. You don't look 70, bro. Thanks, look, man. you don't look 70. No, man. No, that's, just, that's yeah. Italian genes. That's it. And you know what? There's a little secret about us Italians. If you're Northern Italian, you don't have black in you. But if you're Sicilian, they were invaded by the Moors. Okay, well, listen, you got some black blood in you, bro. I know. That's why you're a little bad. black descent. Well, that's why you're badass. Because, listen, you can probably dance. You're probably a good lover. This, that, and the other thing. Good lover. I don't know about dancing. Ah. <laughs> well, hey, that's because you got too much white in you. No, but listen, people are like, everybody, racist, racist. The people that are always espousing, don't be racist. They're the most racist people of them all. Right, right, right. Because you point out what in others what you see in yourself. Like, you know what I mean? Like, what's, what's the problem with you is what you point at. Look, there's three fingers pointing back at you. Right, right. When you're pointing at someone. He said, must be in the basement. The pop bottles are still in the trunk. I didn't go look in the basement. <laughs> so Jeffrey's probably in the basement. But what's he doing in the basement? We don't know. Uh, so anyways, Tony, it's good to see you. But yeah, you Same got any here, other man. questions about her? Because, like, you know, most people are worried about me. They're like, oh, is she going to scam you and this and that? Well, listen, I'm not stupid. I've been married six times. So have I. What? I've been married six times. And I've been married six times. Six times, man. This, this is very rare for two men to, listen, movie stars, I've heard of one, five times married. Well, Mickey for, Rooney's got us beat. Oh, how many? Eight. Oh, Mickey's got us beat. That's because Mickey's Mickey. <laughs> yeah. He's badass. Do you see him these days? Tatted up and yeah. Harley driving and right, right. man, he, and he's on steroids and shit. Yeah. Oh my gosh, dude. 
Yeah, but listen, I'm like real clever with this woman. I test her all the time and, you know, but she's genuine, dude. Listen how, how pure she is. She said, when I grew up, I went to school, church, and home. And she lives not in the city. She lives in the farming country. They call them province girls. So you want a province wife. You don't want a city wife. She's the, the, what they call PR, public relations. Yeah. That means they're hookers, okay? So, but this girl's a province girl. And this is how innocent, this is how you know she's innocent. I go like this. I go, Faith, you don't know how wicked the world is, do you? She's like, oh, she goes, I do. I go, no, you don't. I go, listen, do you know that some women have sex with dogs? She goes, no. I go, want me to prove it to you? She goes, yeah. You know, she's like challenging me. I go to Pornhub. I click just um, sex with dogs. Pops up like hundreds and hundreds of videos. Horses I, I, too. Horses too. It's crazy. But listen to what happened. I go like this. I go, honey. I go, I, I want to show you real quick because I don't want you to have all these images. I showed her. She started crying. She goes like this. It's true. It's true. She started crying. She lost her innocence, dude, at 52. So you tell me she's not special. Right, right, right. Dude, dude, there's no girl in America that, that's going to cry when they find out that women have sex with dogs because they already know. Right. When are you going? I'm going October 5th, and I'm not coming back. No, I'll be coming back. I'll see you around. You'll I'm be coming, coming back, back for three months with her. I'm oh, going to go. coming back with I'm her? I'm going to do this the plan. I'm going to go there for six months, bring her back, marry her on U.S. soil, and then go back there and live. Gonna it's going to be cheaper. There? Oh, yeah. We're gonna, listen, we're going to a place called Porta Princesa where she lives. She don't want me. She don't want to live here. Listen, out of 300 women I met on Facebook Messenger, because I was like, I've joined like 50 groups. I used to work for Google. So when I do something, I just go, brrr, and I just make a thing and I add and I post it everywhere. Bah, 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 bah. So I was in 50 groups. I got 300 women contacting me. I started talking with, you know, most of them. I couldn't talk to all of them. But like I would message some of them. They all were like wanting to move here. That was another sign out of 300. She was the only one that was like, oh, she goes, David, I love where I live. I live in Porta Princesa. It's, did you know some people call it, well, many people call Porta Princesa the world's most beautiful island. I never heard of it. But it's, it's a paradise, too. 80 degrees in December. So listen, bro, if you ever want to visit, visit the Philippines, listen, I'm rich over there. This is another sign. Oh, yeah. Here, 24,000 a year, no big deal. Right. You can barely make it. Over there, Over there it's worth 1.2 million pesos. It's just like in Italy. If you got 20,000 here, when you go to Italy, it's like having 50,000. They think wow. you're rich. They Man. think you're... Uh, and 50,000 goes farther there, too. It's got a lot of money. Oh, dude, Mama's it's got... it's not a lot of money here. Listen to this. Mama's got 100 grand in the bank, and she don't want to spend any of it. It's not wrong with that. No, there is something wrong with that. <laughs> no, when you're that. 81, and you got like... Maybe uh, 10 years left. You should budget it out and be like, I'm going to spend half of it over 10 years. So that means I take out five grand a year. No big deal. You know, my brother, me and him sit down and talk. And I, I used to tell him, well, I hope I got 20 years left. So we were sitting you down might, the other day. I says, you know, I hope I got 20 years left. He says, let me tell you something. 10 years ago, you said you wish you had 20. He says you got you 10, that you keep you got 10 left now. He's oh, like, he's trying to keep you real. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to tell you something that you might not understand yet. yet because <clears throat> This is something that I figured out through spirit, through the spirit. There's a biblical prophecy and the, the Bible all lines up with the history of when Yahusha, Jesus, was killed on the cross or the pole or stake tree, whatever, when he was crucified. He's supposed to be coming back 2028. And that means everything's done. Yeah. So listen, it. you're going to live. It's like the end of the world. It, well, he's coming back. And when he does, the scriptures say that he's going to come down. Everyone's going to see him. Um, the dead in the grave are going to rise, go up, be with him. The ones that are saved. The, and to be saved is kind of hard, actually. It's not as easy as everyone thinks. It's not just like everyone's saved. What but, about... Uh, so you know, listen, I would, if I were you, I'd be like, maybe it's true, maybe it's not. But plan your life for six years out. And... Make sure you're going to be in the kingdom because that would really suck if you weren't. Because, yeah. dude, the lake of fire, listen, the lake of fire is not eternal torment. You're going to get kicked in and uh, he's going to mock you and make fun of you. That's what the Bible says. Believe it or not, the, the creator is going to mock you. Be like, you stupid fuck. 
<laughs> you, you should have fucking Googled me. You know what right. I mean? Or you should have listened to David Yacht Christian when he talked. But listen, bro, I'm not here to pressure you or anything. Oh, I'm, just, know, I'm just here to speak the truth in love. Right. And if you ever have questions, dude, listen, I'm doing helpology on YouTube right now. I'm, I'm, I'm about to blow up in the world as a famous person. I'm the founder of Helpology, which is the biblical and scientific study of the world's most helpful products and services. I got this stuff I'm doing that is just off the chain. Like, I got, are I you, can't are even. Are you a Catholic? No, oh. former. Former? Yeah. What's that mean? That means I used to be a Catholic and I'm not now because oh. I studied it and I found out some things about it that aren't so good. But I don't really? want to besmirch your, your belief system unless you want to yeah. learn about it. Yeah. I mean, when you're ready, come see me. If you're not, you know, no pressure. Right, right. Yeah, but uh, Catholicism, as a born again believer, we study it, and we believe that it's um, the like the whore of Babylon, and it's like it's Antichrist system that makes you think you're saved, and you're praying to the white Jesus instead of the black Yahusha, and then it makes you uh, do things like eat the, the the bread and think that it's the flesh when the Bible says not to drink, drink blood. The wine. Yeah, well, it, they they believe literally that the wine turns to blood, and the Bible commands not to drink blood. So we know that they can't be true. You know, like the, the scriptures aren't contradictory. And I so love anyways, my wine. So do I. Do you? And so did Yahusha. Yeah. He loved his wine. They called him a wine bibber. Uh, an alcoholic. That, that's not, what they called him. They said I'm he was a boozer. A, I mean, I'm a social Right. Yeah, social drinker. drinker. Me too. I'm not, a, I'm not an I alcoholic. Like, uh, I used to be. I don't like beer or not. I like a glass Me too, man. Red, I grew up on wine. Red, red or white? Wine. Red. Me too, man. My, red. My grandfather used Listen. to make his own wine in the oh. basement. Wood barrels full of wine. See, this I'm glad we're getting this. This yeah. is like this is gonna get this will make people see why. Listen, we say Italians are special, but listen, your culture's special too. Whatever you are, you guys, you know, right, everybody right. loves food. Everyone loves family. Every culture loves family and food. They just express it in different ways. But you gotta admit, Italians are kinda cool. I mean, but listen, it's because I believe it's because we got black in us. So we're cool, like black folk are cool, because we got a little black in us. But, um, but then we got white too, and you know, we got the good characters of white people. And, and we tend to not have the bad characters of, you know, like the, you know, they call them white niggers or white ends. Um, I don't like using the N word, um, cause I'm not an N. You know, I can't say, yo, oh, my N. So anyways, I respect that. But again, I said it on accident. But anyways, Tony, it's nice chatting with Same you, Same here, man. And anytime we'll chat it up. Okay, okay, good seeing you. Hey, we'll have a glass of wine together. Yeah, if no, if you don't leave without saying nothing. Okay, I'll come and videotape you. you. Listen, right now, start thinking about whatever you want to share with the world. Something help, you know, your life lessons and some shit. And I'll come by and be like, hey, before I leave, dude, this is your chance to share it. Because I'm, listen, I posted on Facebook and then I posted on my YouTube channel. And my YouTube channel is about to blow up to where they're, like, listen. Right now, Google, Amazon, Facebook, Helpology. It's gonna be that big. Yeah. It's gonna be that big, dude, because I'm about to blow up. It might take a year or two to blow up, yeah. but that's still pretty soon. Oh, yeah. So anyways, Tony, you'll be in, this, in, in it, though, dude. Like, right, if, let's, say, uh, let's say a billion people access my channel. They're all gonna see your video, dude. Right. So think about what you wanna say to the world to help them. Because that's what helpology is. We just, right, right. we give advice. Because anyone that's 70, you got lots of life lessons, bro. Listen, there's a book in you. Everyone's oh, got I a know, book man. in you. Maybe if more I, than if one. If I could write a book, I'd be rich. Yeah. And now listen, I've authored two books. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I wrote two books. But listen, I'm not boasting about it. I boast in Yah that he blessed me with that skill. But I worked my ass off. I read 500 self-help books before I wrote my first book at age 24. Huh. Yeah, and I'm 52 now. I wrote my second book. Dave Christian's Helpology, I don't even remember when I wrote it. Like, I don't know what year. Right, right. Like, I wrote it like 10, 10 years ago, something like that, maybe 15. So, around 2004, I think. So, anyways, I'm just letting you know that, you know, like, things are about to get big. I'm going to be gone, but I'm coming back. But before I leave, let's get your life lessons out there for everybody. All right, man. All right? Okay, bro. Peace out, bro. All right, man. Ciao, bella. Ciao, bella. Hey, what is it? Is it Bella for the woman? Ciao, Bella for the girls. Is it, what is it for the guys? Same thing? Ciao, Bella? Same thing. Yeah, because I thought a Bella was a girl. Or no, Bella, Bella means, means good. Beautiful. Bella oh, so like beautiful. goodbye, beautiful. Yeah. See, that is for a girl. Yeah. We shouldn't say that to a guy. I bet you in Italy they'd be like, what the fuck are you guys are <laughs> Ciao, Bella. That's, yeah, right. Get out of here, Paisan. Paisan. Paisana. Paisan for the men. All right, Tony, take nice chatting with you, bro. Okay, so now we don't have to go look for Jeffrey because he was probably in the basement. Now, look at this light coming down. You see how that light effect is 
coming down. To me, I believe that's like a sign from Yah that I'm one of the chosen ones. And I say that to glorify his name. So anyways, let's go see what's going on with Jeffrey because the suspense has got to be killing you. But uh, Excuse me. <laughs> I'm silly like that. I do it for entertainment purposes. Let's see, there he is. Say hi to everybody. Where were you? Point. What were you doing? You can't speak? Oh, I forgot. No, I'm just kidding. See, I'm joking around with him. He's autistic, he can't speak. But listen, he's a good boy. I mean, he's a man now, he's 19. I didn't think of it. So where were you, what was he doing down there? He goes in the locker and he holds the little key. But what's he do down there? He looks for something. I don't know. Oh, okay. He looks for stuff in the locker. He found out I have a CD player. Oh, because then if you get CDs, you can play them. No. Oh, he wants to sell it. No, keep it. If we get CDs, we can listen no, to them. No, I don't want any CDs. Oh. He's not buying anything else. Oh, you can't stop an entrepreneur, Mama. No. That's like you telling me to stop Helpology. Quiet. Quiet. Okay. When, we, uh, when I get oh. done with this, we're going to see about those records. Okay, let's look at the records. Let's see what these records are real quick. Look at this. I already looked at them. Frampton. Those are the ones I know. Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. Elton John. He's got a whole bunch of really, these are classic, but they're not in mint condition, but still, they're collector's items. Rolling Stones. Joe Crocker, if any of you guys want these, Jeff's selling them. He can sell them to you for like five, ten bucks each. Get your yayas out. No. Yeah, ma, that's all they're worth. I mean, they're worth more, but if no one buys them, you know, he bought the, all of them for 20. He bought the whole lot for 20 bucks, this whole lot. If he can sell them for five bucks each, dude, he'll make five, ten. <laughs> this is like... Uh, that's 250 bucks on a $20 investment. That's not bad if you can do that every time. But then the problem is, is getting more, more product. So anyways, Songs in the Wood, Jethro Tull. Dude, all of these are classic. What is this set here? Oh my gosh, dude. It's a, like, what is that? A two, two set? It's probably someone famous. Tommy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He's got the thing here. Look at this. Tommy. Oh my goodness. See, I don't even know who Tommy is, but maybe that's the name of the record. I can't even tell. Anyways, if you want classic records, Jeffrey's got them, dude. But he's gonna sell them today, so you gotta act quickly. But listen, I'm not here to do a sales pitch. I'm here to share with you, speak the truth in love, and help you get free Helpology on, on YouTube. Just, you know, I'm getting tired now, sorry. but. Just Google, uh, Google Helpology, H-E-L-P-O-L-O-G-Y. You'll find it. It's all over the internet. Okay. Love you guys. Have a blessed day. Ta-ta. Oh, let's listen to this song real quick. Listen, I'm tired. I gotta let you go. But here, does hit, man. Does hit, man. I gotta show you something real quick. These two items. No, I'm too tired. I'll have to do it next time. But I'll give you a sneak preview. Okay, I'll make another video on those later. 
Love you guys. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah.